Sunday at the Safeway Open final round in Napa, California. Cameron Champ coming into Sunday with a three shot lead and trying to attack quickly. Sets himself up for a birdie at the first. He would make the putt moving to 15 under par. Now a little bit of an odd lie trying to play it up the tree line. Second shot at the fifth. This the par five 201 yards coming in. Tough angle but he makes it look easy and he would two putt from there for birdie getting it to 16 under par. Meanwhile Justin Thomas working the 12th had a 64 on Friday wasn't able to follow it up with much success on Saturday but spot on here as he drops it in on a dime Thomas four off the lead as he would make the putt. Silverado Resort setting up opportunities late a pair of par fives over the closing three holes and Mark Leishman taking full advantage as he picks up birdie at the last three off the lead of champ Adam Hadwin star from Canada just tripping that one in at 11 and he was making a move as well two birdies to start the back half trouble at 11 for champ this is his third on the par three but that's a get well shot what a play from off the green, maintaining his three shot lead. His grandfather diagnosed with stage four cancer, all sorts of emotions, and he was just trying to hold it together. Meanwhile, Adam Hadwin making a charge with a birdie at 16, almost hold it for Eagle. And so he would start the run coming in, trying to take advantage of these closing holes after the birdie. Now looking for another at 17. And he makes it. Hadwin, two shots behind Champ now. And then after that, he would set up another opportunity at 18. Chipping for Eagle, close, but it would line up the birdie. And this was the, about the same time that Cameron Champ bogeyed 17, but he comes back with a birdie at 18 and holds on. A one shot win. And there is his father, emotional, on the greens as these two shared that very special moment, 17 under the winning score, and Champ reflected about his grandfather afterwards. It's been tough, but you know, um, battled through it with my family. You know, my family's here, my girlfriend flew in last night. Um, it's, it's just been a blessing, and I don't know if it's meant to be or whatnot, but to win here will probably go down as, no matter if I win one more tournament, 10 more tournaments, whatever it may be, this will be the greatest moment in my golfing career for sure. How special is it with the added fact that this is just 60 miles away from where you grew up in Sacramento, California, where he taught you yeah. the game of golf, and then to have it be here of all spots, given that everything that's going on for your family? It, it just means everything. Like I said, I have so, so much support here, so many family members and friends. Um, you know, it's the week it was just it was just going. You know, I wasn't thinking much. Um, like I said in earlier interviews, it was just uh, my mind was clear and um, you know, going through this experience has just opened my, my mind up to a lot of things. How did you find the resolve, given that you didn't hit a fairway in, until the 12th hole today, yep. to steady yourself and birdie the 72nd hole to ultimately get your second PGA Tour win? Um, you know, I've done it before. Uh, we all have. Um, I just, you know, Kurt just kept telling me just best swing of the day, best swing of the day. And, um, you know, hit two good quality shots, hit a good chip. And like you said, that putt. Um, it was the first time I really didn't feel that nervous. Um, it was kind of a relief. Uh, obviously, when it went in, it, it like I said, it just satisfied everything. Congratulations to Champ. We move on to Thursday's opening round of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open, beginning at 9.45 a.m. Eastern on NBC Sports Go.